hello welcome you uh, all today we start experiment number 15 that is based on design PID controller that is using ZN method that is also known as Zekla necklace method so today we will see how we tune the or find the values of the gain of the PID that has three terms that is proportional integral and derivative so uh, there are four possible controllers that you can make from PID one is proportional control second is PD then PI then PID okay now uh, we are looking two methods here there are three methods that is uh, ZN oscillation method reaction curve method and Kuhn's Kohn Kuhn's reaction curve method okay so the basic idea here is in the tuning is that whenever you have to use these methods these are also known as heuristic methods you have to use some table so important thing is you must know the formulation of the PID control you are using so for example there are two formulation C of S is that KP KI divided by S and KD divided by S okay so uh, but uh, the important thing here is that we have to uh, normally use the second one where we take the kp outside and then we have this term one uh, one plus one over t r s and then tds okay so this is the formulation where we call kp as proportional gain ki as integral gain kd as derivative similarly we have reset time that is actually not ti it is tr there is a typo here so it is known as reset time that is equal to kp divided by ki ratio similarly td that is rate time or derivative time so first of all we look at the zn oscillation method so the basic idea here is that we have to normally close the loop of the open loop transfer function as set the plant under proportion control and with a very small gain now increase the gain until the loop start oscillating note that linear oscillation is required that is should be detected at the controller output so uh, the uh, the basic idea is to find the this value kc where when i give a step input and it start oscillating now then i have to calculate the oscillation period so we need two parameter here pc and kc when we find that then we easily use the table that is given to us to tune the controller so table is this one this is my table look here p p is equal to 0.5 times kc the gain where oscillation starts similarly pi is 0.45 and pc divided by 1.2 similarly we have pid so this is the setting that you can use to design the these three controllers now this is one method the another method if i go a bit uh, uh, so this is numerical example where we have to implement this method now if i just open it so this is my uh, open loop transfer function that is equal to g of s equal 1 over s plus 1 cube now we have to design uh, PID using Z and oscillation method so uh, if if you remember you can do it um, uh, to look at the root locus first and then you can solve it so how I solve it I just open my MATLAB and go there so first of all look here clear or close all and CLC then I defined as so these are the basic uh, thing where we normally do. now this is the example this is the open loop transfer function after that what I did I just uh, take a figure and look at uh, how it behaves uh, with um, uh, if I take the root locus and step response without designing anything so if I run this uh, this bit of the code just run it so you have to see a figure which shows the root locus and step response so look here this is the root locus. so this means that this is my origin okay this point is the origin and this is j omega x so it will cross the j omega x and this is the step response so now when it is cross the j omega axis 
so we know that from uh, routes criteria that we can find the value of k where it crosses the j omega axis how we can do that i just open my notepad here okay so look here now i am moving here i just take uh, this example this is the open loop if you look here this is the one this is my system and this is when i give uh, step input i get i have to find the value of k that give this oscillation now when i make the characteristic equation of this block diagram it becomes s q plus 3 s square plus 3 s plus 1 plus k now then i use routes table because i know that it will cross the j omega axis so uh, i just uh, make a routes table here that becomes 1 3 3 1 plus k and similarly solve with 9 minus 1 minus k divided by 3 0 and 1 plus k now uh, we know that from the stability criterion that we have to look for the column 1 now because uh, we are looking for a marginally stable system so this means that these all must be equal to 0 so in that case we have to put 9 minus 1 minus k divided by 3 equal to 0 and 1 plus k equal to 3 is equal to 0 look here I put here but the problem here is in this case we have a negative so we are looking for positive value so I leave this I move here then I solve this this is the value I get for this is the KC value I told you before okay now to find the period I have to write the auxiliary equation if you remember we have to look for this this one second letter so it become 3s square plus 1 plus k k is already known as 8 I put here it becomes 9 now solving it then omega becomes under root 3 now PC actually uh, this is wrong sorry about that uh, this is my if I clear it this is my omega ok now uh, for PC PC actually the time period so if you remember the formula you have 2 pi f is equal to omega okay now uh, actually for time period it becomes 2 pi divided by t equal to omega or in other words t is equal to 2 pi by omega so I use this formulation here to find the PC that it becomes 2 pi divided by under root 3 so this is what so I need only two values this one and that one so I calculated these two values now I'm ready to use my um, MATLAB and use the table to find the gains of the controller so for that case I open MATLAB look here I put KC equal to 8 here PC equal to 2 steric pi to our square root of 3 now uh, from the table that is given to us here so I just designed the PID so PID is 0.6 KC then TR is 0.5 PC and PC by 8 so I put the same value here okay 0.6 KC then 0.5 then PC divided by 8 so this is the formula of the controller I just plug in here now what I did I use feedback command so that we have k static g comma 1 then I use subplot to look at the system after controller design now what I do I just um, pick up to this and just uh, evaluate it so that I get the result now in first part that that was the example and look here this is the root locus this is the open loop and this is the closed loop step response now I will move to question number the second one so second is uh, so this is the same example different PID you have different structures okay now I will go to reaction curve method so reaction curve method is basically uh, an in-rise quantization version of plant can be obtained with open loop experiment using the following procedure so what we have to do first of all we have to give the input to a open loop um, 
system manually say that uh, it settles uh, upon some point y0 and a constant plant input is u0. At initial t night apply a step change to the plant from 0 to mega infinity and ranges from 10 to 20 percent full scale. Now uh, record the plant output until it settles to new operating points. Assume you obtain the curve shown in the next slide. This curve is known as process reaction curve in figure 4. Okay, So this is the curve. What we have to do, we have to give a step input and then see the output. So this is the curve. Now I have to put a straight line here that is the tangent to this curve. So here this is the point where this curve is 0 and this is the point where this uh, straight line that I put is uh, touching the y naught. Okay. Now this is t naught, this is t1. So similarly, the highest value is uh, f uh, known as y infinity, where this uh, tangent line is cutting. That is known as t1. So we have to find t naught, t1, and t2. Similarly, y naught and y infinity. Of course, we have to know the uh, u naught and u infinity. After this, we have to use this formula that gain is k naught is equal to y infinity minus 0 divided by u infinity minus u naught. Similarly, t naught is t1 minus t t naught gamma is t2 minus t1. So after finding all these values, then we have to use this uh, simple table where we have kp for pi control as gamma naught divided by k naught tau naught. Similarly, pi is 0.9 gamma divided by k naught t naught 3 t naught. Similarly, pid we have all this relation that is 1.2 gamma naught divided by k naught t naught then 2 t naught then we have 0.5 t naught okay now uh, uh, we know how to calculate t naught and k naught from this formula now uh, we will do this in MATLAB command for uh, assume Assume an example here, okay, and see how it performs. Now these are some examples. So uh, the lab task we have question one and question two here. This is a two part in question one, but question two has unstable system. Now we will know how oscillation and uh, curve reaction works. Now we will implement in MATLAB. Now, for uh, PID uh, controller using curve reaction method, we, we come to direct uh, question number one here. So, this is the question number one transfer function that is s square plus 3.6 s plus 9. Now, we have to plot the step response of this function. Just evaluate it. So, this is uh, what we get, okay. Now I will make it a big um, zoom here. Now I use here insert uh, line. Now I put a line here. Okay. Line in a way that it will cut it uh, as a tangent. So this is the line. Now this is T0 is 0. T1 is this point that is around point 2. Similarly uh, this is the one where it is cutting is uh, about uh, point, uh, 0.4 something okay so these are the values that uh, we need and similarly we have the maximum value here is uh, if I use this marker here I click on it uh, it's uh, around uh, 2 point around 3 okay so 0 to 3 and similarly we give the step input that is 0 to 1. Now we apply the formula here. What I did, I put T naught equal to 0, T1 is 0 0.2 that you can calculate yourself. Similarly T2 is 0 0.76, T1 is T1 minus T naught. Okay. Then I calculate the gamma as T2 minus T1 k naught is the y maximum minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0 
similarly kappa then uh, then i use the table from here where i calculate the kp tr and td okay now after that i put in feedback formulation calculate the result so if i just run it again so this is my original system and this is after because look here it is around 0.111 maximum value now it is on the one following the step input so this is the way you can tune your controller now in this case i use the uh, reaction curve method to do that now i will move to the second part of the question second part of the question is this one design the controller so here if i look at the question here then i decide which method i have to use now look here it is crossing the geomag x so it's better to use the oscillation uh, method uh, z and oscillation method so in that case uh, look here this is unstable system now what i did i i have to uh, calculate this uh, if i look at q1 if i look at q1 underscore 2 transfer function it is 0.5 sq plus 1.5 s square plus s so i have to move again to my notes notebook here now i move to second page so i i, I get this transfer function and this is the simplification then I write the auxiliary, uh, sorry, characteristic equation that is del of s, that is 1 plus kg of s. Now use the routes table. Now from routes table, I easily calculate that I have to make this uh, column uh, equal to 0, where with k values now from here k becomes 0 and this, now k is one, 3 here, so kc is 3, this is the one that I need. This is the one Kc is 3. Now I put this is the auxiliary equation. Okay, I put 3 here. And then solve this and I get omega as under root 2. Now from here I know that Kc is 3 and then Pc is 2 pi pi under root 2. So when I know these values I just move to, to my MATLAB and just solve it. Now again this is the formula. I use the table where for PID that KC is 3, PC is 2 steric, PI divided by under roots. Now use the formula KP is 0 0.6 KC, 0 0.5 PC and TD is PC by 8. Now after that I just um, make the transfer uh, controller transfer function. Then I use the closed loop feedback system to calculate the system and then plot the step response. So if I run this I get this result now this is the original one unstable now this is the stable and is following one now these are very easy methods to tune the controller now move to the question number two where we have unstable system I put question number two is 1 over s minus 9 now from figure I just look at the uh, I just analyze my system here so I just what I did I just uh, look at this uh, root locus now from this root locus I put um, 10 as a gain controller and see that it is not following the step input it is following 10 okay now but I need a system that follows the step input so in that case what I did I again use curve reaction method so here I again calculate T naught T1 T2 and gamma and k naught then i calculate kp tr and td after that uh, i just calculate the controller k2 now i use this feedback system with k2 okay sorry about k1 this is k2 and then look at the step so i if i run this one and see how our system behaves now run here so look here it is stable I think there might be some mistakes with uh, 
with some implementation here so check it where there are some mistakes but okay this is the result I am getting with my result so this is the way we can easily uh, solve uh, design the controller to get the desired results now there are some mistakes in my system here because this is question number two I already used 10 as a gain to calculate so for gain must be 10 times so this must be 10 times k2 of q2 ok now run it so this will give me so this is the way you can easily um, solve uh, tune your PID controller using this method so it is still not uh, still unstable so what happened I just check it give me a sec why it's giving me ok uh, I found the mistake here because uh, if I run this R locus for this one so because this is unstable we have to stabilize this controller uh, this plant using proportion control so for proportion control we need something value somewhere here so I, I use some value here for example for this case I use 10 ok now I have to retain this value for closed loop so that it is stable okay then I can apply the reaction curve so what I have to do I have to incorporate the gain here so uh, to satisfy the gain requirement there needs to be uh, at least 10 so I have to multiply 100 times the k2 so that I get the desired result so when I run it look here this is the result but we get it's a very nice one it follows the one so this is the way you can solve this ZN method Ziegler Nicholas method for tuning the control so this is known as heuristic methods that use a lot in industry 